Hey what's up guys, Mario here. This is gonna be part 2 of the CNC build. On part 1 I actually did most of the cleaning on all linear rails and applied new grease to it. I also explained how I'm planning to build this new CNC. But right here I have a piece of aluminum that's 18 by 18, half an inch thick that I'm gonna be using to build uh, my Y-axis table. I just need to machine all the holes to be able to mount it to the linear blocks and the ball screw. Also, I need to machine a couple holes over here on this piece to be able to mount the C-axis. And on the C-axis, I need to make another a couple holes to mount the spindle mount. Uh, over here on the spindle mount, I have the a test with epoxy granite. Also with this piece over here I have do did another test. Uh, this piece over here is the same ratio that's on over here. Uh, the way I did it is this piece is 80% sand, 20% epoxy. Uh, the ratio is by weight. Uh, I think it has a lot of epoxy. On this test over here, I actually did 75% sand, 25% epoxy, but the ratio is by volume. And believe it or not, there is less epoxy here than here. And both pieces turn out to be really good. They're both really hard. Um, I can actually measure the strength between the two but this piece over here I cannot do nothing to it uh, but I'm gonna be filling all the extrusions with this ratio over here since this piece over here I can actually compress it uh, and what you actually want when doing epoxy granite is to be all your sand or gravel or whatever you're using to be one next to another one as tight as you can instead of instead of the epoxy having let's say a soup of epoxy and the sand kind of just floating in there so that was just a couple tests i did this piece didn't need this over here, but I just did it just for a, a small test. Uh, once I fill all the aluminum extrusions with uh, epoxy granite, I can start building the frame. So before I can do that, let's get this piece over here to the CNC so we can start cutting it.
I'm about to start mixing the epoxy uh, and the sand. Here I have just regular play sand. Um, here I also got the epoxy that you can find online. It's the cheapest find, the cheapest I actually found online. It's a uh, all-purpose epoxy. Uh, I also got me a mixer for when trying to mix big containers like this one. And here I have a little jig to help me push the epoxy once I start putting it in to try to compress it. I also have right here in a screwdriver with a soft handle. I uh, usually heat it and it makes the sand go down and try to give it some vibrations at the same time. Uh, but I'm gonna be using this and this little jig to compress the sand epoxy into the ex aluminum extrusion. Uh, I think I'm gonna be using this bucket to mix this big container. This is what I'm gonna be using to fill this, this piece over here. Uh, the way I'm gonna do it is here I have 128 ounces of sand and I'm gonna do 25% uh, epoxy by volume which equals uh, 32 ounces so I'm gonna be using this I'm gonna be putting 16 ounces of part A and then 16 ounces or part B or whichever is, is A and B uh, also here I have a little writ just regular color and I'm gonna show you why I use this one I usually put this when I mix it with the part B it gives me an idea of which parts are actually being mixed and maybe some of the parts that are maybe I'm missing uh, so I'm just gonna start putting the 16 ounces of part A first here mix it and once everything is mixed then I'm gonna put the part B So I just finished filling all the aluminum extrusions with epoxy granite. Uh, it usually takes around 24 hours to maybe 48 hours to the epoxy granite to set. Uh, I also work on putting some of the uh, parts on all axes, like the C axis on top of the uh, X axis, uh, and the Y axis table. But hopefully once the 
uh, the epoxy granite sets inside the aluminum extrusions, I can start turning uh, all this into a 3-axis CNC. Uh, I'm planning on making more epoxy granite for the actual base of the 3-axis CNC uh, and maybe put a little bit behind the x-axis but that will have to be for a much later video since I'm gonna have to make sure that all this is actually working correctly before making some of those parts but this is gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time